can't listen to no Tupac. I don't even know why they. What's up, y'all? It's me, Erica. It's raining cats and dogs out here, honey. It's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? It's Wednesday. Raining on Wednesday. I do not like driving in the rain. I'd rather be at home underneath the covers. With the window cracked and the rain, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> What's going on, y'all? I don't have nothing to talk about per usual, um, but I did watch a clip of Steve Harvey and Monique. Has anybody else watched that clip? Because I just watched a part one. Is there a part two? I didn't. I don't like how they was cutting it. I can't really. I don't know. I have so I have a lot to say about it because I had a lot to say about Monique and her Netflix boycott and she made some good points in terms of integrity over money but he also made some not but and he also um, Steve Harvey made some good points too I don't like the idea of telling someone they have to act a certain way because of their position and who actually controls the industry that they are critiquing. It's like a it's like a me too thing. You understand what I'm saying? Where you're gonna critique someone in power. No, this wasn't um, sexual assault, but she could have said they were um, unfair wages you know what i'm saying like i'm doing all this work and this is what y'all want to pay me no that's not cool it's like a labor issue i don't know but then the amount of money and then her saying like steve said that you know you didn't have any act plan of action you just said boycott netflix bitch what are you talking about but here's the thing if y'all supported her why don't why if y'all supported her and agreed with her position on that then why didn't you help her organize it? You didn't want to really support her in that way. You understand what I'm saying? But I really don't think it was like you are criticizing Netflix and it's not Netflix you have the problem with. It's that you, it, it's your expectations and your perception of who you believe you are in this game without actually staying on the road. I felt like Monique really, after she got that Oscar, really started feeling herself. And I really believe that because nobody is saying, like, she's like, I wasn't difficult. Y'all know I wasn't difficult, but you were. People have said you are. People have said they don't want to work with you. Are Is everybody making this up? Like, I, that's what I'm, like, that's the reason why I can't. Like, Monique, you got to accept some responsibility for your part. And then, okay, you getting on stage saying Oprah Lee and Tyler can suck your dick or whatever. Okay, that is your comedy. I love Monique because Monique was is vulgar and cusses a lot. I, that why that is why Monique was one of my favorite comedians. She, like I felt like after she got that Oscar, what that truck was putting all kind of water on my damn windshield. Oh my god, I hate trucks driving behind trucks in the rain. So the worst. But anyways, I can't wait till I get off the freeway to get on the street. I do not like driving. So anyways, yeah, so he was trying to explain to her, you know, we can't move like this. It's not a black and white game. It is, it's a money game. But no, Steve, it is a black and white game because y'all want Monique to behave a certain way. I don't, I, I, from his standpoint, he wants Monique to behave a certain way. My whole thing was, Monique, you haven't really been out here doing what you're supposed to be doing. You're assuming that you should be given a amount of money based on no recent type of um, award, not award show or comedy show or anything like that. You you left your art form because after you got an Oscar, you thought you was gonna be this an actress. I don't know why you thought that. Look at Holly Berry; she haven't done shit after her Oscar. Look at Cuba Gooding Jr. What has he done after his Oscar? What, that Oscar don't mean like that's the thing. The Oscar don't mean shit. And when you get the Oscar, y'all start acting crazy because you got this acceptance from these white folks and that's not how it goes. You need to still stick to your goddamn roots and you left your damn roots, which was the comedy circuit. You, and that's, 
now you want to come back and do a comedy special and you're not selling out you're not you're not pulling in the numbers what is your draw and it's and it's okay because not everybody has a sustaining career for the span of their life sometimes you go down do you see steve out there like you he don't do stand up anymore he's moved on he's another one but he's crossed over into an arena like he has a talk show monique had a talk show monique has been afforded all of these same shits i can't that's why i'm that's why i'm like bitch what are you talking about but you gotta come out and work you had a, you had a talk show you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't know. I kind of felt what both of them were saying is like, this is a money game. And she's like, no, it's, it should be about integrity. Why isn't anybody addressing? She just says, I'm not difficult. And then that's it. But you are, you, you're saying things about people after you get off of the stage. You're still talking shit about people. Like, and everybody talks shit, but like, you're talking shit to the people that can help you like you're not that's that's why I'm, I'm like Steve was like you doing it you wasn't doing it right you didn't do it right that's the people who you need behind you you know if you're trying to you need the Oprah behind you I don't care like that if you're that uh, I don't know you're in entertainment and you want to cross into that arena Oprah would be there not er nobody in this industry gets anywhere without any help I don't care what anybody says I think I said it yesterday about Cardi B nobody gets anywhere in this industry without somebody helping them do it so nobody's doing it by themselves okay so I, I don't I, I don't know I don't know how to I just don't Monique I'm like I don't I don't think she did it the right way I'm not boycotting that because they you want how much money for what I'm gonna go to a job. I'm gonna go to a job right now, expecting them to pay me on some skills that I haven't proven to use in how many years? When was the last time you used this skill? Ten years ago. Okay, why am I gonna hire you and pay you to do it now? You need to be retrained. <laughs> you need to go out again and go and get that drawback. You're not selling out. Okay, so the support. Here comes the support she wants support but what are you doing what am i supposed to support you regardless of your behavior and how you going about asking for this support just help you and and you act up here acting a fool like or am i supposed to support when you doing shit the right way like come on monique i don't know what monique was trying to do all that i mean i don't know and then you're like uh that mad that you are creating like these burning these bridges why would you show the the netflix thing that says it's confidential like that's confidential now netflix has like this campaign called strong black lead they there there was an opportunity i don't see like nobody is telling well you don't feel like you're worth this much but when you accepted that role for precious and told them this is how much you'll take you named your worth right then and there that's why afterwards they was like and, and 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 saying okay i'm doing it for a friend so i'm going to take less than no you should have told them this is what i'm worth at the time and then said yes now they okay you took how much to do precious that's her worth you named your worth right then and there monique like come on Steve has some points. She has some good points. I didn't get to the part where she said she was going to slap him. I, I didn't. He, and I imagine it to be playing because he said something, something with your crazy ass. Um, you know, they, that's their banter or whatever. I, I thought it was going to be a real interview, but not her coming at him for what he, his role or his part. Like, hold him accountable. Like, that's great. I think you should hold him accountable. And the first thing she goes but but you brother but you brother like okay i'm the one i did tell you that I, I don't know are you are you busting me out i did tell you that and now what look at where you are i'm glad that he gave her a platform to talk about it i'm glad that that he did that because he has a platform he's a black man with a platform on daytime tv he can get she don't necessarily need to go to ellen so you know what i'm saying um 
but I didn't get to the part where she said she was gonna slap him, so I gotta come back. We're gonna have to give, we're gonna have to do to be continued. So I don't know. They had some good points. Go watch it. It's a Steve Harvey on the Steve Harvey sh um, show page. I haven't watched Steve Harvey in a long time. He got a beard? Dang. What made him grow his beard in this gray? He looks so much better. I'm glad he took that damn weave off. I know he's been bald headed, but the beard makes him look much, much better. I didn't feel like he was trying. I'm trying to see because I do have some critiques of Steve, but in this situation, I'm trying to see was he over talking her or anything like that. I think he, I don't know. I think he, I, I felt like he was holding her accountable. Like, okay, well, are you difficult? Cause nobody's talking about that. And then when she comes out there, like people were saying that you're difficult. And then she goes, well, she comes out and corrects him and said, they were saying Sydney and I are difficult. No, honey, people are telling you Sydney, they have a problem with Sydney and you, you don't want to separate that. You don't want to act like it's a separate thing. I, everybody keeps saying it's Sydney. And like Steve said, you can't come in here with that pimp shit. Like that's not, that is not, I don't, I'm not telling you to be res, like this respectability politics. I'm not telling you to be that, be yourself. But all that strong arm and pimp shit, talk shit, brother man and all that slick shit, don't nobody talk like that. Nobody. No one talks like that, nigga. Like, come on. Nobody does. Nobody. Nobody. Nobody's manager is talking like that unless he, he's managing her pussy, okay? That's how them niggas talk. What are you talking about? And talk in the 70s and the 80s. This is, the, we in a motherfucking or we flying cars out here and you still talking that slick shit shut up evolve that don't work that does not work like shut up i can't stand that sydney all that slick brother man and all that shit shut up ain't nobody talking like that nigga what's wrong with you <laughs> so stupid and you want to and you want somebody to accept that you're I don't know Monique really needs to find another manager but this is another thing like this man has nothing for him that he has to attach himself to his wife's career and fucking ruin it like huh what are you doing why wouldn't you want her you want to feel like you got you in control of something like you managing something go get a job nigga go for go manage another comedian go manage somebody else why are you managing your wife get the fuck out of here let her go get a manager that's going to make sure she gets some work and not keep her from getting work without her having to compromise her integrity for money. Like, he needs to back up. Sydney ain't shit. Oh, slick talking ass nigga. That, don't nobody respond to that. Man, shut up. Brother man and all this other stuff. I'm surprised he didn't come out with her. Honestly, was he sitting in the audience? I'm sure. Lurking in the background. Cause you don't have nothing going for your damn self but Monique and you ruining her career. You're not even a good manager. Fuck out of here. I be so mad at Monique because Monique used to be one of my favorite comedians. I fucking love Monique. Her mouth was awful and vulgar and she talked shit. But what the fuck happened, girl? You thought that damn Oscar was gonna do something? What did you what did you think it was going to do? What has it done for anyone? Like, come on. What has it done for anybody? That is just somebody to say, hey, you did good for this movie. That don't mean uh, it, it, it's gonna pay the price for how well you do in the next movie or buy your talent for the next film or skills for the next movie. Are you crazy? Look what it's done for Holly Berry. That's why I said Holly Berry seemed like she been blackballed. What kind of role? Every fucking role Holly Berry got, she got on the same fucking curly ass mama wig, single black mother ass wig. Why? She don't. She hasn't played in no blockbuster hit, no action movie. I'm wondering why she ain't been Storm. What the fuck is going on with that? And then you go out here and get this this racist ass white man and have a baby with him man, man, let me shut up <laughs> man what and what did you think her oscar was gonna do what what's cooper gooding jr been in come on what has he been in 
Denzel. I mean, the I mean, Fences was really good though. That was really good. Denzel keep working. I mean, he's just really. I mean, I can't even. He's got an Oscar. Even Cooper Goody Jr. He got an Oscar, and look what he's been doing. Nothing. Not a damn thing. I ain't seen Cooper Goody Jr. What movie was he in? Oh, he was in OJ's story, wasn't he? He was. Oh, he played OJ. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Shout out to Cuba Gooden Jr. Anyway, honey. I be mad at Monique, y'all. I'm telling you, I do. Because I'm like, oh, what is wrong with you, girl? I don't know. And I was, um, I, I don't know. Anyways, let me stop talking about Monique. Because she really... I'll be talking about her. The last time Monique did this Netflix thing, I was talking about her for maybe two weeks straight. She was making me, she made me so mad. I was so mad at Monique because I felt like, girl, what are you doing? Like, you're not even, like, I understand, like, you want to stand up, you know, women's equality and all this other stuff. But then you riding on, like, this is a personal issue that you have. What I mean, and it's like, you want to go after the people to me, I felt like you could have did a fucking Parker's reboot. Somebody said, Professor Ogilvy is as wide as damn Monique was in the Parker's. Lady, y'all need to not be driving crazy. Professor Ogilvy. They could have rebooted the Parker's. I would have told them, listen, Netflix. Okay, y'all want to give me a half a million dollars? Was it a half a million? Right, it was half a million, 500,000. Okay, I'm going to do two, three specials. I'm going to do three specials. Okay, and we're gonna see how it's gonna do, how it's gonna work. I'll do three specials with y'all, or even two specials. Two specials, and I want I want to reboot the Parkers, or I want my own sitcom. I mean, I don't know. She could if Fuller if Full House can come back, the Parkers can come back. God damn it! I think, and then that's the thing where we are today. The way that Monique is moving, if you would have, if we would have been like, nobody is just out here blindly supporting people because they're women or because they're black. We, you're, I'm going to support you when you, I don't know, when you're doing right, you got to do, if it was just us, I'm not going to support you just because. So why would I support you just because if we in with these people like this? No, no, no. You have to be better. You have to be able to take feedback. We have to be able to keep each other honest. You was wrong, period. Straighten up. Like, come on, take the feedback. Take accountability. Why are all these people saying you're difficult? That didn't just come out the blue. That came directly after you got that goddamn Oscar. You started smelling your ass. Come on. Be honest. Yeah, I did. I might have been difficult to some people. Be the fuck honest because not everybody is fucking lying on Monique. It's not, they not. No, nobody have no conspiracy to keep fucking Monique Hicks down. Don't nobody have no conspiracy against you, girl. Nobody is telling you to kiss nobody's ass. You telling people to suck, they, suck your dick if you had one. Like, come on. A lot of people don't like Oprah. Okay, nobody's gonna like everybody. Everybody's not gonna like everybody. Somebody is not gonna like somebody for whatever reason. For whatever reason it is. Some people like Oprah. Okay, okay. Some people like Tyler Perry. Some people like Lee Daniels. I don't like Lee Daniels. After he said that Star was for a wife to put a white lead in that show, I don't know nothing about the concept of the show. I know he's giving other people opportunities in other intersections. I know that's what I, but he, when he said that his show, that show was for white people so that white people can have some kind of understanding or some shit, I was like, well, I, you didn't make the show for me, so I'm not watching it. I have not watched one episode of Star. Is that what it's called? Stars? What is it called? You know what I'm talking about. And then low key, that kept me that I stopped watching Empire. Like, you know, it's hot. But that's what it is. I sure did talk a goddamn long time for 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 me not to have nothing to talk about. It's hot. That's all I gotta talk about. 
So what y'all think? Did y'all go watch the episode? The the first it said it said part one. I haven't watched part two. I had a lot to say for not watching the whole thing either. But I already know what it is. I already know. I don't think I don't think she meant that. I could tell. I don't think that she meant I'ma slap you like for real. I don't think she would say that. And I think the that back and forth banter is like, I Steve, shut up! I'll slap you. And if if you slap me, I'm me and Sydney gonna have to fight. And that's, I mean that's what it is. Those trees look so pretty. Anyways, I'm out of here. Y'all have a wonderful day. Take care of each other. Go watch the video and we can talk, get um, get down in the comments and talk. I, I didn't put no damn earrings on today. Where's my earrings, child? Okay, y'all, take care of each other and protect your energy. Peace.